Morning, welcome back. So it's another travel day video and I'm staying at the airport, literally next to the terminal building. I mean, I can't get any closer, even if I tried. It's even got runway views, this Hampton by Hilton. It's actually rather nice at Stansted Airport. So today we're off to Zanti. I'm gonna take you with me on the whole experience on board today's TUI flight, which is an airline which I've never flown before. Through the airport as always. On the other side, I've got car hire and then on to my hotel. And literally it's about a five minute walk to get this started. Let's go. So from the hotel, it's just a, a five minute walk through this covered walkway, which is quite good because on a wet day, you won't get wet to the terminal building. Literally right by the train station as well. For years, I didn't realize that Stansted Airport had a train station. It sounds stupid, but. And here I am. It's literally taken me less than five minutes to get into the terminal, which is pretty good. So on today's flight, I get about 20 kilograms, if not a little bit more, on the, the TUI flight to put in the hole, which is what I'm gonna do. I just need to find where I check in, and I've actually only got an hour before my flight goes, so uh, I better hurry up. Zone 500. Never seen that at Stansted before, because as you walk up here, it only goes up to 95 to the queue for Ryanair. I love seeing the queue for Ryanair when I'm not traveling on it. I guess it must be around here. No? It only goes up to 95. Very confused. Checking zone 500, it's this way. People sleep in the most oddest places. Here we go. I'm actually quite late for check-in. Oh, it's the posh part of Stansted. I'm the only person yet. I've got to go around all of these. Yeah, now I know it's because I'm late, but that was the quickest check-in I've ever done, or backdrop in this case. Right, let's head through the gates, grab a cup of tea, and I'll tell you more about the flight. Well, security was actually quite busy today. I had fast track security with uh, the booking that I made with On The Beach, but to be honest, it wasn't much faster. So I don't really understand the point of fast track, especially if you're gonna pay for it. Today's flight is gonna be three and a half hours to Zanti. Like I say, I've never flown with Tui before, so I'm rather interested to see what the experience is like. I'm not having breakfast in the airport. I'm gonna have breakfast on the plane to see what it's like. I remember when I flew with uh, Jet2 Holidays, the breakfast wasn't very good. And actually I preferred the breakfast. Can I believe I'm saying this on Ryanair. That ham and cheese croissant is very good. So I should arrive around about half past one. I've got car hire on the other side booked for around about quarter to two. So fingers crossed there's no delays and we should be able to get it without uh, being charged extra. I'll have this tea and I'll be onto the gate. Gate one is where we're off to, which means we need to go on the transit. This is the gate one to thirty nine. Love this, an in and out WH Smith. Why is there always a WH Smith at the airport though? This is one of the better terminals at Stansted Airport. It's the same terminal that uh, Emirates goes from as well. That's probably why it's quite plush. New check-in, new terminal building. Much better experience at Stansted now. However, you still fly with Ryanair or an EasyJet. It's still a bit rubbish. Thank you. Cheers. Onto the back of the aircraft as always. I think we're sitting in 32F. I tell you what, the flight today is full of uh, younger people. 
no doubt probably going to be having a drink on the flight. I know this early in the morning as well. Oh yeah. Morning. Uh, well, I haven't been on a, a flight like this in years since I was a kid. You know, they have the TVs that come down from the ceiling. I don't think they'll show movies, but it's um, it's nice they've got a map, an air map that you normally only get now on a back of a seat uh, if you fly with British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, or Emirates. Actually, I get you on your holiday, so please bear with us. So just checking out the menu card, I wasn't overly impressed with the selection to be honest. Didn't really fancy anything too big so I decided to go for one of their meal deals which was some chocolate fingers and a cup of tea for a fiver. board a nice air-conditioned bus more queues just got to try and find my bag now is this mine I think it might be yep it is they just double check Well, that was a very long flight, it's supposed to be three hours, it ended up being four and a half hours. We were waiting to come out because of air traffic control and we were waiting, we were circling for around about 45 minutes. Oh, and what wasn't great about the flight as well is there was a lot of lads on there sitting next to me, they spilt their whiskey and coke all over my jeans. So I'm soaking wet and I smell now. But I'm here now in Sakynthos and I've just got to get my car hire. I have no idea where I'm going and I have no idea where the hotel is, so I've got to check all that out. Car hire is up here. There's so many names. Would my name be on any of these? As always, it doesn't actually tell me on here. Abby car. I saw someone with Abby car. Oh, hang on. Hey, this guy here. Hello, mate. Pick another car. Abby car. Yes. What's your name? It's Tim. Uh, how many people are you? Just me. Just you. Okay, let's go. I'll follow this gentleman then. I thought it was pick up on the airport. This is not on the airport then. Is it off airport? Ah, no. We pick you up from the airport. Oh, right, okay. We take you to the office. Okay. That's where we do the contract and give you a car. Okay. Here we are. Let's go and get my car. All right, got my car hire. Probably the uh, the quickest and easiest ever. Um, it cost me around about forty pounds to have this car for four days. So yeah, it was incredibly cheap. Um, I paid a little bit extra for the insurance per day, as usual. So now let's just go and find the hotel. I need to turn the aircon on. Some tunes on. I'm also very happy because this actually has a sunroof, a Fiat 500 with a sunroof. That is what you call a winner. However, I don't think I'll have the sunroof open because of the strength of the sun on my head. It's probably not the best idea, is it? Some life around here. I think this is close to the hotel. Well, I've arrived and it's down this back alley. Wish me luck. I can get my car in. Thankfully it's small. Ooh. Very small hotel, but at least it's got parking. 
Well, it actually looks like he's only got two parking spots, so I'll just leave it here before I ask him reception. Let's go check in. I'll get my case in a minute. This has got, actually got really good reviews, but it's very small. Smallest pool in the world. Do I check in here then? Oh, yeah, I do. Check in? Yes. Uh, here? Okay, thank you. Well, this is different. Um, I've been sat down, given a form to fill in, and some free juice. So I just fill these details out. Okay, so here is my room number 207. Let's go in and check it out. Very Greek. Now, the reason why I booked this hotel is purely because of the location, but also it had some really good reviews. It's a standard room, ensuite with a pool view as well. Let's go and check it out. Most of the accommodation is quite basic, unless you're paying quite a lot of money, but um, actually this was a really good price. And it's a double room, very nice and clean. Love the colors, love the pastel colors in here as well. Got a TV up the top. I'll do a bed test in a moment, but first, Let's check out my little balcony, tiny little balcony that I've got overlooking the pool. Nice pool view. If it was just a little bit higher, I could probably see the sea. This is perfect for me, obviously. I'm here for a few days, and even if I was here a little bit longer, this would be uh, rather nice. Very nice little comfy chair. Tea and coffee. Nice clean kettle. I wasn't expecting to see that. Is that working? That is, yeah, look at that, a fridge. Now, without spending a lot of money, when you stay in a cheaper hotel in Greece, the beds aren't overly that comfy, but I was very pleasantly surprised with this bed. Very comfy, but I think this is a queen bed, so it's nice and big. Let's check out the bathroom. Nice look, actually. They've been renovating this hotel, and you can really see that. The bathroom's all done, basic toilet. And obviously a lot of the um, bathroom shower rooms in Greece are kind of wet rooms, which is quite handy. Look how polished that is. Got some shampoo, honey and pomegranate, nice. Some soap and a trusty hairdryer. I've seen some of those that barely work at all actually, so that's actually quite good. I actually got a really good deal for this. It's cost me 42 pounds per night for the next three nights. The owner is so lovely. She gives you a bit of a personal welcome on arrival. She'll also give you some top tips of what to do when you're here in Zanti and where the best places to go, the best places to eat. And in fact, you should click this video here if you would like to see my tour of the island and some of the best places to go and eat as well. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.